ஹாய் வெல்கம் டு அவர் ஃபார்மா டாபிக்ஸ் சேனல் வெல்கம் டு தி டுவெண்ட்டி ஃபிஃப்த் சீரீஸ் ஆஃப் பிரின்சிபல்ஸ் ஆஃப் ட்ரக் டிஸ்கவரி இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் ப்ரோட்டீன் டெரிஷரி ஸ்ட்ரக்சர் ப்ரிடிக்ஷன் பை த்ரெட்டிங் ஸோ த்ரெட்டிங் வாட் இஸ் த்ரெட்டிங் ஸோ ஆஸ் வி ஹாவ் சீன் இன் தி ஹோமலாஜி மாடலிங் வி ஹாவ் சீக்வன்ஸ் வி ஹாவ் டு பில்ட் அ ப்ரோட்டீன் பேஸ்ட் ஆன் திஸ் ஸோ ஹவு டு பில்ட் இட் ஸோ பேசிக்கலி தி Uh, building mod uh, building methods like x-ray nmr cryo electron microscopy are costly and time consuming so what is the solution we have seen that we can with the help of uh, online uh, tools we can build this model so you can do a blast with the ncbi server and then you can go for homology modeling or threading so in the previous video we have seen uh, what is uh, homology modeling and now we will see what is threading so threading assume that we have a raw primary sequence of the target protein blast with the pdb database similar protein structures are not available in the database means for homology modeling at least uh, it should be more than 40% sequences at least you have to get structure should be available in the pdb database if that is not available then what you can do if the tertiary structure is not available then threading could be used but there is one criteria if the tertiary structures of the loops are known only then threading methods could be used so threading uh, so you have a sequence you do a basic uh, local alignment search tool you do a protein blast search for similar uh, structures if it is available you go for homology modeling if similar structures are not available and if you have uh, the structures of the loops available in the database then you can go for threading so threading is also called fold recognition method there are about 50 uh, 5000 stable folds in nature fold recognition finds the best fit of a sequence to the query target sequence it is used when homology uh, modeling search yields less than 40% identical sequences the sequence of the events in threading include hydrophobic collapse local interactions uh, that stabilize the secondary structure and form motifs motifs aggregate to form ter- tertiary structures so in uh, threading you have a sequence you have uh, a target sequence you do a uh, sequence alignment then you do 3d fold recognition then you do loop uh, modeling then side chain modeling then model refinement using quality scores and you can validate the model so sequence alignment is similar to homology modeling then you can uh, do the loop modeling based on that uh, you can build the uh, with the help of uh, threading you can uh, model this structure then validate this with ramachandran plot and other uh, methods so algorithms used in threading uh, there are two algorithms one is uh, pairwise energy based method a uh, structural fold database <coughs> is searched to find the best match based on the energy criteria using uh, dynamic programming on uh, heuristic approaches calculates energy for a raw model lowest energy fold is selected as the most compatible uh, fold then uh, the another uh, concept is profile based method fold recognition a profile is constructed for the related uh, protein structures generates uh, superimposed structures based on the corresponding residues the protein fold uh, to be predicted does not exist in the fold library then threading will fail this type of modeling is done when the folds of the proteins uh, match with the folds of the proteins whose structures are known but the structures of the proteins are not homologous folding is a physical process in which a random coil folds into its characteristics characteristic and functional structure of a from a poly uh, from a polypeptide fold libraries are sequenced and with the threading algorithm that is stitching algorithm the protein is modeled protein modeling is a process of predicting the three dimensional structure of a protein based on its amino acid sequence it plays a crucial role in understanding the structure function relationships of proteins which is essential for drug discovery understanding the disease mechanisms and various other biological applications 
threading is also known as fold recognition is one of the approaches used in protein modeling it involves comparing the target proteins amino acid sequence against a library of known protein structures to identify the most likely folding pattern or structural homologs so the first step is sequence alignment uh, the target protein uh, sequence is uh, compared to the sequences in a structural database such as a protein data bank to find the homologous sequences with known structures template selection the best fitting templates are chosen based on the alignment scores and uh, statistical measures of similarity then alignment refinement the sequence alignment between the target uh, protein and the selected template is refined to account for potential errors or inaccuracies model building the three dimensional model of the target protein is constructed based on the selected templates and the refined sequences alignment model validation the quality of the model is assessed using various scoring functions and validation tools to ensure its accuracy and reliability then it is important to note that protein modeling including threading is a complex process and often requires the use of sophisticated algorithms it is not as simple as uh, homo homology modeling so it needs uh, computational resources and expertise in structural bioinformatics and molecular modeling several software tools and algorithms exist to perform threading and other protein modeling techniques so online tools for threading are uh, one is uh, the famous uh, modeler uh, which can be used for threading as well as uh, homology modeling then you have uh, rosetta it is a very famous uh, program which could be used for uh, homology modeling uh, it is uh, for academic it is free of use then itaser it is a protein structure and function predictor uh, you can register in this and you can do homology modeling as well as threading using this software so the next famous one is uh, cypred it's a workbench uh, that provides a range of uh, protein structure uh, prediction methods it it uh, acts interactively with the web, uh, web server uh, by high throughput mechanisms all the algorithms are available in this database it is very widely used uh, uh, threading uh, software and the next one is uh, hh uh, pred this is also a online tool where you can do uh, search of proteins alignment uh, sequence analysis uh, then uh, you can build the 3d structure you can do the protein blast so there are several op uh, op options which are available in the in this uh, software so it's a very short information of uh, threading method which is uh, tougher when compared to the homology modeling i hope this video will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning uh, kindly share this to more of your friends if you like this video kindly press the like button kindly subscribe to our pharma topics channel and go through all the series and uh, score well in your uh, principles of drug discovery paper thank you